What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new primer by NYX. I don't know about you guys, but lately I've been noticing that everybody is coming out with so many primers it almost feels like I can't keep up. And it's not like they weren't a thing before, but there's just been too many releases back to back. The minute I buy one, another one comes out and it's starting to feel a little bit overwhelming. But I'm very happy to share the experience that I had with this primer. I'm gonna show it to you. It's this one right here and it's called the Freezy cooling primer that can also be used as a moisturizer. It's a plastic jar that contains 1.69 fluid ounces. I bought it at Target and it cost me $20. The last time I bought a drugstore primer, I think cost me about eight or 12. I can't remember, but $20 is definitely up there. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, but the reason why I bought this was because it said cooling. I was very curious to see how this was going to feel on my skin. And I mean, look at this color. It is gorgeous. I could not pass this up. I've been a sucker for blue lately. I think I've been on a trend and it's been very unintentional. I've been purchasing a lot of things that are blue. And now that I think about it, it might be my favorite color of the season but this color was definitely popping so this is considered a 10 in 1 product because there's a list of things that this is going to do and I'm gonna bring on my notes here in front of me and I'm gonna go over them with you because it's pretty long and I wasn't going to memorize it so here are the benefits not only is this going to prime even and smooth your skin but it's going to minimize your pores tighten hydrate sculpt soften calm and revitalize your skin. That's a long list. Very compromising. And now I'm going to tell you how it went. I tried this on for the first time on clean skin. I used my favorite cleanser and then I didn't moisturize. I went directly in with this one and I was very, very confused because out of the whole list, I didn't realize anything going on. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you the consistency of this. The first thing that appears when you do that is you're going to find this little plastic protector, which I obviously had already taken it out. And then on the inside, you have your product. And I really like the way that it looked because it almost looks like it's frozen. I think it goes very well with the theme. You know, it's a blue jar. The name of it is Freezy and it's supposed to give this cooling effect. I really like that. And obviously the first thing that I did was pick up a little bit of this and I applied to the back of my hand to see how it was going to feel. I immediately noticed that it did give that cooling effect. It's a gel-like consistency, but it also feels kind of silicone-y. If you've ever purchased any sort of silicone primer, you know that slippery, velvety feel? That's kind of what this reminded me of. It was taking a while to dry down, so when I applied it to my face, I did it in very small amounts before I applied the rest of my makeup. Now, when it comes to scent, this smells like Vaporu. If you're Latino, you know exactly what I'm talking about because that's a scent that you can never, nunca de los jamases, forget the way that it smells. You grew up with that. And in English, it translates to Vaporub or Vix. I don't know which one you know it as, but that's what this sort of smells like. After leaving it on, it almost feels like it. It's so strange. I actually wish that I had a jar of vapor up next to me almost just to compare the way that they both feel. Because now that I think about it, it actually might be very, very similar to it. So I did one even coat around the whole face and after a couple minutes, I noticed that it never really sank in to my skin. It was just sitting on top and it wasn't drying down. I was a little bit confused. So what I started to do was patting it in a little bit more and seeing if that did any difference and it wasn't. Now I wanna touch up a little bit on the cooling effect because by this area right here on the mustache and by my chin, it was tingling 
a little bit too much. I wouldn't say that I have a very sensitive skin, but it can sometimes be sensitive to certain things fragrances or certain finishes on different products. It didn't look red or like if it was harming me in any bad way, but it was just too tingly, a little bit too cooling. It was just surpassing my level of comfort when it came to the cooling just in this region right here. I was very eager to finish up the rest of my makeup, but the whole drying down part took so long. I was even going like this. It felt kind of tacky, pretty sticky, almost reminding me of another primer that I'm going to review very soon that I have laying around here. So I waited and waited until my patience ran out. I went on with the rest of my makeup using some of my favorite products and surprisingly, everything went on very smooth. I encountered zero problems. And at the end, when I was looking at my makeup and as I am looking at it now, it just looked very flawless. It almost seemed like the whole list of benefits that this was saying was going to do came together at the end, out of nowhere. It just pretty much slapped me in the face and it revealed itself in such a stunning way, I was very shocked. And I still am very shocked because I thought that this wasn't going to do anything. None of the things that it said it was going to do at the beginning when I first tried this on, did I notice. I don't know what kind of a magic is in this, but at the end, it just looks so darn good. I did not set my face because I wanted to see how this was going to feel at the end. It doesn't look greasy, it's not too matte, but it's also not giving me any sort of glow. It just looks natural. This really won me over. And I think I would only use this as a primer. I don't think I would use it also as a moisturizer because I still don't feel that hydration that it says it does. My skin does not look dry at all, but I also like to feel it, you know? I am very happy with this purchase and I can't wait to try this out with other makeup. You guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Sending you all a bunch of love from this side and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.